Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Zimmern and you're watching Gatekeeper Media. Welcome to my In The Bag. So I guess let's uh, start up top. I have about a thousand markers, but the one I've been using for a while is my PDGA marker that I got when I first signed on. What's my number? Well, I'm not gonna tell you my number. I'm a card carrying PDGA member and very proud of that. I've gone, I have a box in my car with uh, at least two dozen putters in it. Obviously I use it for field practice uh, or when I'm just doing putting practice uh, at the house. And it changes every year based on feel and let's be honest, I'm a terrible player, despite the fact that I've played for 28 years. Um, so any issues I have with putting have nothing to do with me. There is no such thing as operator error in my lexicon. So last year I was extremely successful with a couple of these super soft gateway uh, magics. And I have, I have two of them. They fly straight, they work for me. They're a little heavier than most and, and I dig them. Last year at the uh, the very first pro am, I got a, I was teamed with James Conrad. I was actually the uh, the anchor around his neck, which caused him to come in last. Uh, that would be my fault. But he was very kind, and he gave me a prototype of the Nomad that I have in the car that I just keep to show off to friends. Who does that? Super fans. That's who. I was kind enough to get a few sent to me, and, and I've been playing around with them at home. Haven't had a chance to try them out on a course this year, just at the, the house and field practice, but I really like these special edition Nomads. In the mid category, I actually carry quite a lot of them. So I'm carrying more and more of the same disc, just discs that are in different condition, maybe slightly different weights. Some are floppier than others. Obviously I have a couple of buzz, uh, types in my bag. I've got about 20 in the car um, and I'm always uh, changing that up depending on feel. My T-Bird L I'm absolutely in love with. Um, I have about five or six Firebirds. It, it might be my favorite mold uh, right now. And I have them in several different plastics. And so this is, this is the whippiest, most beat up one. Um, this one is a little whippier than this one. This one is a little stiffer. Both of them for whatever reason are more domey than my old school G-Star Firebird. I can actually throw a pretty good flex shot with this on the forehand for that reason. Wraiths are another mold uh, that I have four or five of. I think this is the lightest one that I have. It's I think uh, 160 grams. I love this particular disc for, for in the woods. I can shape a lot of really good shots uh, with this one. This is really cool. I've never had uh, a Castaplast uh, disc. This is the Falk, which happens to be the name of one of my friends. Um, and its speed rating is a nine. But I have it in here because I, I throw it for more tender and delicate shots. But at the same time, if I kind of like the Firebird, if I want a little distance, I can get it with my with my Falk. Leopard, obviously a little slower uh, disc, but still, has a nice edge to it and doesn't get too domey. I like the feel of this type of rim in my hand. My hand dictates a lot of my disc selection. I have a degenerative tendon issue from cooking and just doing stuff with my hands for way too long and I'm putting off the operation on my hands for as long as I can, but I can't stretch my thumb out. The tendons are all constricted and by the same token, it swells everything up so I can't close my hand. So I throw almost everything forehand except uh, short approaches and uh, putting. Another buzz, this is my new Paige Pierce one from last year, which I adore. A mid-range that I fell in love with last year is the Star V-Rock. I'm just in love with the feel of this plastic. When the plastic is soft up in here, I find that it's easier for me to grip it tightly on the forehand. That's just me, that's just feel in my hand, but I'm really, uh, really digging it. Another buzz, my Leadstone Special Edition. Maybe my favorite disc 
I've, I've got about eight of these, and these are the Crows in the R Pro plastic. I, I call it that dusty, grippy feel. It doesn't have that sticky, grippy feel, which is wonderful for my release. On an approach shot, I throw most of these uh, in, in a uh, backhand throw but I find them super accurate on the forehand. It's my favorite mid-range disc. I have a Mako 3 in G-Star plastic, same thing, super, super conventional go-to. I have a bunch of pigs. Um, I, I love this disc. For a forehand short approach, um, I've had 100-foot throw-ins uh, with this. I absolutely adore, and this one is super, super beat in. It, it, I feel like this one, if I open my car door up in the parking lot, I could throw it in with this disc. That's how confident it feels. Now, that's not, <laughs> contrary to what actually happens when I'm out there on the field, I'm not that accurate, but it feels that good. And I feel when it comes to disc selection that while there are a lot of different discs out there that you can throw. It's it's how you feel in your psychological uh, relationship with the plastic that's almost as important as the, what the reality is. I got one of Kristen's Pures last year and I love the feel of this plastic. I, I'd never had any uh, Latitude discs before, but I really like this one and the disc that it reminds me of the most, obviously, and I think it's pretty much modeled after it is the Mako 3. Uh, it flies the same way uh, for me, uh, but this is a little stiffer than my G Star Mako 3 and I, I really like it. Um, and then we get to the discs that I have no business throwing and I get in trouble with, and those are my more high-speed discs, but yet I still carry them. Who am I kidding? Uh, I have no business doing that at all. We'll start out with some of the slower ones, um, and these are actually right out of my bag. I have my, like I said, Sidewinders, Wraiths, Firebirds, everything that's in that category of uh, speed and fade is, is where I go. Everything up from 160 to 172, 174 uh, grams. I love the Sidewinder because it's got a smaller profile. It's a slightly smaller uh, disc, more Firebirds. I have a couple, oh, my, uh, my Nathan Queen Wraith, Again, one of my favorites, uh, especially in woods courses. I mean, my wraiths, and this one is a little domier than my other one. I feel really confident throwing this, trying to shape a shot. For a forehand thrower, if I'm looking for something to go left every time, I snap this G-Star TL3 and it will go left for me every single time. If you're a forehand thrower and you're looking for a slower speed disc that is reliable on the uh, hyzer, this is it, check it out. I have a bunch of uh, emperors. I have uh, uh, Kona's signature disc. Uh, she and her family are friends of mine. I have them both in eye blends. One is about 10 grams lighter than the other. This is one of my oldest discs. It's an old Discraft Elite Z XS. Do they even make those anymore? I don't think so, um, but I absolutely love it. And it's in a plastic that I don't think Discraft makes uh, anymore. And it, it feels really good. It's almost identical. I can't tell it apart from the eye with my Firebirds. And then <laughs> what I'm doing with a, a 13 speed distance driver in my bag, I have no idea. Talk about wasted space. But for some reason, when, I, when I'm with my buddies, and, and, and this is what I love about this sport, I can go out with my friends and play four, six hours, you know, play 18, play 36 with a lunch break in between, and it is an endless, endless bitch at each other session. We decide the issues of the day, we find out what's going on with each other's lives, we give each other an endless amount of crap, and when I'm down one on 18 on a big fairway hole, I take out the Daedalus and I've taught all my friends when they see the yellow come out of my bag, they all are required to go, ooh, that's true. We have a lot of funny rules. If a friend of mine has a, a shot out on the fairway or up at the chips, wherever it may be, and I throw a shot and it covers theirs, 
They have to carry my bag for the rest of the day and vice versa. It's the best rule. Start that with your, with your friends. It's the best rule ever. You cover someone else's disc, they carry your bag. Sometimes I will aim, if you're four feet away and you, you're down seven with four or five holes to go and you're tired, just a little toss, cover your friend's disc and make them carry your bag. Anyway, oh, I was told to show off my, my trinkets. Um, rule number one, carry a thousand towels, okay? Because people who carry one towel have never played in the rain or the snow. I have about 30 cut up flower sack towels in my car because I'll just stack them in there. They're almost disposable, but it's great to have them around because if you have to use them once a hole and put, because it's not gonna dry, not gonna dry off in the rain. Uh, so it's good that you can have 25, 30 of something that packs into a small uh, footprint. I have a collection of towels from different tournaments that I've been blessed to attend. Shout out to the local guys at North Par Apparel. I have a lot of their stuff. Very cool, I like them. They're from Minnesota. Um, and then last but not least, snacks. Uh, super important, obviously I carry a lot of uh, fermented walrus anus around because you need protein on the, no, why would I, why would I say that? I haven't made that show in years. I do believe in nuts and fruit on the course like a demon. So I have Red Truck Bakery's granola, which is my favorite, and then I have a home, I guess I can't call it gorp. It's just raisins and nuts, but it's oversized raisins and homemade toasted and salted pecans because I find a little bit of salt is good when I'm out there, so I, I'm retaining the water that I'm drinking. Um, I carry a lot of water uh, in the car. The last thing you want to do is be plain and start suffering because you're dehydrated and it gets hot and humid here uh, in Minnesota. So that's what's in my bag. I love my bag. Because I don't believe in operator error, right? Any, any misfire is clearly the disc's fault. I keep a car bin here, which is fantastic. I keep an extra pair of sunglasses. I keep a rain jacket, my sweet new gatekeeper hoodie, but I keep a whole bunch of discs and a rack of putters and just all kinds of stuff in here so that I can switch things out. I told you I love the Wraith, but I do have, I do have some little gems in here. A lot of Garrett girthy stuff. Uh, Garrett is an incredible food geek, loves to eat. Uh, and both he and Jessica uh, send me and have given me a lot of discs and that's super, super uh, nice of them. What the heck is this? A DDT Defender, 142 grams. If you put this thing on any angle whatsoever, kiss it goodbye because a three mile an hour wind will send it to Kansas. But I have thrown this in the woods. I mean, it's it has such it's such a shallow disc. Even as a forehand, I can't even get a finger underneath it. So the release is really awkward. But if I release this the right way, this thing will go a mile in in the woods. Uh, super proud. Shout out to the folks at Innova. Um, I'm one of their celebrity ambassadors and one of the, the proudest titles I have, other than dad. If you find something that's working for you, order another one right away before the plastic, before everything changes uh, with it. Um, I tend to have doubles of everything uh, that I like and I have 20 different wraiths and firebirds and all the molds that I really, really love, uh, pigs and crows. Those are the discs that I throw the most often, and so I want them in as many different varieties as possible. And then the last tip, always have a little travel bag. Um, I take this with me on the road when I'm making television. It allows me to play courses all around the world, but mostly all around this country where I can just get up at five in the morning and scoot out somewhere. And even just playing nine holes in the morning sort of gets my head right. So. That's what's in the bag and in my trunk. That's the that's this is the junk in my trunk. <laughs>